What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers. I'm sorry there's not been a ME video or an SE video of late, I've been a really crazy week, but now I am back on schedule. And today we're looking at something that Brian, one of my long-term viewers, suggested in the comments, got me thinking about a really cool concept. And I think I've done it not only a bit of justice, but I actually think it's a pretty cool approach to doing things. So let's dive straight in here, and what we're going to do is build ourselves a ship, but we're going to build ourselves a ship by number. Um, so much like ordering your takeaway, we're going to start off now. The first stage at this point has to be engines. Uh, with the way I've got things set up, I haven't built that many modules for it yet. I'm still testing out the concept. Now I've got it working, I can go to town with that. But first up, we'll just hit this button here. And as you can see, what that's done is turned on a specific projector, and then it's going to activate that particular stage of the welding process to weld up that module of the craft. And using this technique, we can build pretty much any craft we want for any purpose just out of this sort of system on the fly using the projectors and welders. So this is now going to stop having done the first stage and we can go up and use stage two to decide what we're going to have next. So as you can see we've got a selection of options and I don't know for this first one let's build ourselves a ship for mining purposes. So we can start off by putting a refinery on it. So let's hit that and as you can see that's added the refinery and cargo modules to it and everything in this has been set up so that it's all conveyed together by default as you put the modules together down the center line is a line of conveyors through all of them and so that way it doesn't matter what order you put them in what way round they are they are always going to convey up to the next module so there you go that's our uh, refinery module done and as you can see, there's a couple of refineries in there. There's a whole bunch of cargo containers, although they are small ones because they fit better in this design. Uh, and then we've also got a connector on the top to hook up to. And there's some assemblers down the center of those refineries. There's four assemblers in there too. So you can get going as soon as you've refined your stuff. Next up, uh, right, our choices are limited here because, of course, what we need for this ship now is a cockpit. And right now, this design is a four-stage one. So you can add four modules of your choice to it. So we're just going to hit... That one again, number one, to get ourselves the cockpit module built. Uh, and much like all the other ones, this is just going to go through and build out the cockpit module for us so that we are ready to move on with that. Uh, and in this case, the cockpit module also has some extra thrusters and so on. And someone's really cool looking logo on the side there. Well, don't know whose that is. Uh, so that should pull out and that's finished that section. Now you'll notice the thrusters there haven't finished, but they will when the next section builds. So that's that's not a problem for us quite yet. And then we've got a final choice, which of course for this craft needs to be mining gear because we are making a mining craft here. So let's hit on the mining gear. And the whole point of this is the number of modules you could have for it are essentially infinite. You could do what you want. Not only that, but the way this has been built. So um, once this is done, I'm going to hit the release button to release it from its bounds so that we can fly away with it and that activates all the thrusters and turns everything on ready for us. So as you can see now the ship is done and we can go over here. Notice by the way there's a little bit of projection that hasn't been done but as you can see that's because of how the modules interacted those blocks are in the same space as a thruster. With a different layout, those blocks would build and connect the ship together properly. So some places, you've, I've done a bit of that with the um, blueprints, so that they kind of overlap each other intentionally, so that the designs fit together in any order. Uh, but what we can do now is go over to the last main controls, and what we want to do is obviously to release the craft, which is going to turn on the engines. Oh, hang on a second, why is that not turned on the engines? Perhaps something I need to adjust in the timers there, but fortunately it's bumped into some welders which are on, so that shouldn't cause us too much problems. And what we can do is go in here now and turn those engines on ourselves. I think I might have forgotten to save it because that literally was the last thing I did. There should be a group on here. Ah, there's no group for some reason. There should be a group called separation thrusters that turns on by default. And for whatever reason, it hasn't. But what we can do is turn on all these thrusters here and then the ship is sort of ready to go, although we're not going to go anywhere with it, but you get the idea. This is sort of the internal compartment that is the cockpit area, so this has an inside bit, and you can kind of see how it's all conveyed together, and here is the end of the refinery module. So let's dive back out of here, and I can delete this, uh, just so you can see it's now separate. It's its own specific ship, uh, and firstly I'll go over and just quickly check that timer to make sure, well, we can reset the system, which is going to put the piston back to where it should be, turn all the welders off, turn all the projectors off, ready to build the next craft, whatever it might be. And I can go in and show you just quickly how the timers and everything are set up while I check that little issue we had. So as you can see, we've got essentially got four stages for this. And the stages equate to 
the four pistons because the pistons provided a very consistent amount of movement so that I could build each module a certain size. And then of course for each stage you have a choice of four modules. And at the moment there's lots of overlap between the modules because the modules I've built and they're all up there. I, I, you know, I haven't fully fleshed this out yet. But both the number of pistons and how big this welding grid is can be configured essentially infinitely. So you could use this to build massive great ships or tiny little ones, depending on how you wanted to do things. So anyway, let me jump back into the timers here and I can show you. So we've got essentially these are the timers and we have a timer for each stage, uh, sorry, the um, projectors. And each stage has four projectors and of course they're all off by default. And then there's a corresponding timer for each one and it's not really being used as a timer. What it's doing is turning on whatever projector it is that you've selected and then starting this timer and this timer adds a tiny bit of delay and then reverses that stage's piston so it's a relatively simple setup uh, the only sort of concern building it is making sure that all your modules end up being a consistent size uh, but because of that we can then sort of build pretty much any ship we want uh, and you know there's a whole load of range up there we've got more options that we could put into it as well and there are a few tweaks this is an idea i'm very very pleased with i mean brian's tipped me off on something pretty damn cool here just the idea of extruding stuff like this but with the modular options i think is really awesome i want to play with this much much further and get a proper fleet that can be modulled out of a single station like this and you've got pretty much infinite options from that single station so this time we'll do something different uh, so let's i haven't actually tested the turret module so let's let's see if the turret module builds like it should do i see no reason why not this again it's a it's a pretty simple concept um you need, need them to be four blocks long as wide as the welder grid is and and, and you're done um so last thing i'm going to do is while that builds in there i'm going to go in here and just show you these are the release and reset ones and there should be yeah the, so obviously i failed to set the group properly on the blueprint rather than in here that's the one that should turn on all the thrusters that are on that ship but we go up here to uh where all the various modules are i'm willing to bet that on the cockpit module uh which is this one i have forgotten to set up that group and so it didn't turn it on because it just doesn't exist at that point so let's go in here and Oh, it's called something different. It's called separation thrust rather than separation thrusters. But there you go. You get the idea. And I've got a sort of a selection of modules here available. Many, many more could be built. Uh, and this, as I said, could be scaled up to pretty much any size you wanted as well. Um, the whole concept is, is reasonably simple. There's a bit of sort of finesse to the actual execution. So given we've got turrets on this, we're gonna, again, we're going to want a cockpit. Although the med grav one actually fills at the same role that has a cockpit in it too so just for the sake of difference let's build one of those next just to prove that it all works like it should uh, there was a bit of time necessary to set up all the blueprints on the projectors in the right location and of course it's absolutely required to have the the uh, projectors themselves on the piston that's what means that the the projection moves with the ship as it's welding uh, if you didn't do this that this just would not work you can't have them statically on the, the building itself they have to be on the piston matrix and so the longer you make that piston uh, so the more stages you want um, the further this sort of setup has to go back <coughs> excuse me but in reality uh, this is just held on by a few merge blocks using that icon attached to the side of the piston technique. So that's actually on the piston itself. But if you find the right spot, there we go. That's on the piston head. And so will be capable of overlapping slightly. But the projectors aren't. So I've had to uh, line them all up here. And you just keep going back with them as far as necessary to cover all your stages. One thing I will mention, these thrusters are pointing into this. That's why I had that group. That group only turns on thrusters further forward to begin with. So you can maneuver out of there and then turn those rear ones on. So just to finish off, why don't we build a final stage? So what have we got? Everything there. We're going to need some weapons on this craft, given it's the one with the turrets. Nice to see that those built just fine as well. So let's trigger the weapons module as the final bit. And as this finishes off, I'll say thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this idea or found the concept, found the video good, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Really helps me and the channel out, helps me get more content out. So I would really appreciate that. If you've got any suggestions for this, any ideas for what modules it should have, things I can change on it, hit me up down in the comments. I'd be really interested. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.